welcome to your favorite show, The Boldest TV Show, with your babe, Esther Obiete, aka Esther Shine, of your favorite show, The Boldest TV Show. Oh, I feel so excited this evening because we have succeeded in getting into the new year, 2022, a unique and the best year ever that God has prepared for us. Of course, the Bible says that He knew us before we were conceived. There is no way you can see, actualize, and manifest the will of God, everything that God has prepared for you in this year, 2022, without your mind. You have to fix your mind in your goals. You have to fix your mind in your New Year resolutions. You have to fix your mind in actualizing it. If you say, this mountain move, it will move because your mind has said so. It's exactly what you have in there that will come to life. So, if you want your year 2022 to be the best year ever, to be better than 2021, rather than you say, ah, last year was good, or I don't you understand this year, I prefer last year, that is a shame. So, if you want to move ahead, if you want to keep moving further, higher and greater, you have to make sure you control your mind, you program your mind in a way that it will yield something positive for you. Yes, so you'll be wondering, ah, as the shine don't show again this new year with another one. But that wisdom came from my father, my mentor, my business coach, my spiritual father, Pastor Tony Kennedy. Yes, so if you want more of that, I hope you visit House of Realty International Christian Center. That is where I tap this current. That is where I get this grace. And that is where I get this words of wisdom. Now, tonight's show, we have the New Year package for you. We're going to start on a new note. A note that will make us fully decide what we want. That is if we have not decided. And if we have decided, we are still on it. We are going to see how we can be pushed to taking the step rather than relax. And that will take us to Zach's fashion home. Zach's fashion home is in a Sabbath Delta state and we're going to see the wonders he has been doing. In fact, I want you to take note of something that I took note of. And when we come back, you're going to tell me what and what was different from him and the other people that has been on this show. And we also have our birthday celebrations, wedding and all the celebrations. Even our gossip for some time, we have lost on our gossip. We were so busy that we were not able to gossip. Knowing fully well that those gossips were very, very useful to us. So we are going to have a little bit of gossip on tonight's show and lots more. Please make sure you don't go anywhere. Just sit there and stick on your TV show. I'll be right back. Feeling stranded? I don't think so. A normal LPG app makes your cooking easy and fun. All you need is a click on your mobile phone. Go to Android Play Store or iOS App Store. Download and install a normal LPG app. Register your detailed delivery address, select your cylinder type and place your order. That sounds like a doorbell. Your gas delivered right on time by Anyoma First Class Logistics. Anyoma Baba, always on time. That's not all. You are entitled to change your gas cylinder to a better one and a free 12.5 kg gas in line with the Anyoma reward policy. Install Anyoma LPG app now and have fun cooking. For inquiries about our policy and more, call the office on 0913 258-2836 Anyoma Gas Making cooking easy and fun Now we are moving straight without any delay to the fashion home Zach Fashion's home Zach Fashion Home in Asaba here Where is it in Asaba? It's in Jaret Jaret of all places Yes, the Bible says that people ask Can any good thing come out of Nazareth? <laughs> Oh my God! And did anything come out wonders, the best? Without that good that came off, came out of Nazareth, I'm not sure we'll be what we are today, and I'm not sure we are going to be here tonight. And so the question is, can any good thing come out of Jared? I know the people within Asaba will understand this question. Yes, good things are in Jared. 
good things are coming out from Jared and it is the responsibility of the Borders TV show to go into such places where we think that nothing good can come out and go pick out the good things that have been coming out that you do not know about. So join me to Jared. Jared is in Cabo, a suburb Delta State. Let's see what happened in Jared. is being created yes as you can see this is mr. Zach and we are going to meet him to know more of him and the things he creates here please join us as we proceed on this interview so let's meet you sir good evening sir how do you do um, compliment of the season I hope are you a Christian or a Muslim or a pagan or which one we do you're a Muslim. Oh, uh, uh, oh Jonah, compliment of the season. Okay, but you people celebrated something before we celebrated. Yeah. What was that? Salah. Okay, Salah. Uh, the Idi big Kavir. one. Yeah. We know you people have level by you. Call it Idi Kavir. Okay, Idi Kavir. Wow. So why not go invite us? Where we did when you do that one? Yeah. <laughs> okay, yes. This evening we want to know more about you and the things you do here. But before we start, I want you to introduce yourself to the viewer. Let us know your name, where you are from, and more about you. Okay. Uh, good evening. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Zach. So, the name of my fashion uh, is Zach Fashion Go. So, tell us, where are you from? Uh, I'm from a uh, part of my police states. Okay. Also from Senegal. Senegal. So you have you are from Kogi, you're from Senegal. Yeah. Can you please explain which one you belong? Like your father is Senegalese and your mother is Kogi or your mother is Senegalese and your father is Kogi. My father is from Senegal. Okay. Why my mother is from Kogi States. Oh my god. Wow. So you are in Nigeria. How long have you been? Were you born and brought up here in Nigeria or Yes. I was born and brought up in Abuja. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so where did you learn this skill? I learned this skill from Abuja. Abuja. Yeah. Wow. How long now? How was when? Since 1999. Wow. 1999. That was a very long time ago. And here you are still in the modern fashion okay since we have known you let's now move to the business this is Zach fashion home and I know what you have done because you've done for me like I will always tell you I don't bring up businesses that have not tested this place is tested and trusted so Zach please tell us why did you choose to to become a fashion designer wow. the fashion designer is very very interesting Anytime I look fashion, I always, I always admire fashion. You know, out of 100% of uh, people that are wearing clothes, going out occasion, you know, we used to pick design from there. Whenever we see a movie with a, a new Letter design, we pick a start from there. So I have interest on the fashion and design. And I deal with both of them, that unisex. I saw both men, both female, both design. I deal with all of them. Wow, that is interesting. So you make yeah. both for ladies, ladies and for guys. Yeah. Okay, talking about ladies and guys, we have variety of stuff we wear. We have the native wear, we have the casual, and we also have the corporate. Corporate like shirt, suit, uh, what's it again, what they call it, all those kind of corporate things. So yeah. do you do all this or you're specializing just native and casual or you're specializing just corporate? 
which one or you do all of that? No, we specialize on the staff. So Okay, you don't do corporate, no, all those suits do and all that. No, okay, so you can make any native any and any casual yeah, for casual. both male and female. Yeah. What about children? They are both children. Okay. Wow. Yes, Zach had actually made something for me. Not just something. Some things for me, you know, that thrilled me. Then the part two that about this fashion home that really thrilled me, that brought me here, is when I saw the people he's grooming. Wow. I like this is quite interesting. This is not the first place though. But I never knew that we still have um, youth, young adults and children that are still willing to be equipped. And as this interview goes on, we are going to see these children doing what they like doing. I mean, we are still going to talk to them. Let's see how old they are. Now we know whether they don't, they'll be adults, but they get small body. <laughs> yeah, because we know we have such a kind of a species yeah. here, where somebody looks small, but that person is an adult. Yeah. So we will meet them. But before we proceed, Jack, Zach, uh, how is your your how is the business in this part of Delta uh, State? Do you have patronage? How is the customer uh, patronage going? Is he encouraging? Yeah, it's encouraging. It's encouraging. Yeah, the patronizing. Yes, you have a long person. Okay. So what is your rule? What is your policy? Are you among those tailors that uh, when they bring clothes, man, you say, okay, come collect them in two weeks' time. That two weeks will be like in two months' time. How is your rule? What are your principles in terms of uh, customer care and delivery of your job? No. This, uh, this our work, we don't, we don't use to disappoint. Okay. No matter bit of the time we give our customers. When we take your measurements, calculate everything, give you a date, we collected your number. When, when we collected your number, the after the the job is over, then we'll give you a call. You should come and answer and take your, your clothes. It's ready. That's how we do it. Okay. Now, I want you to tell me some of the challenges you face because there is no business without challenges. We have like everywhere. So, what are the challenges you get here? Could it be the light? Could it be the behavior of the customers? Could it be too much work? No hands, could it be no payments? They are going, what are the challenges you face? Could it be your your working equipment uh, that are the, if they are upgraded, you need more or you have enough? How what are these challenges you face? And how do you think it can be solved? Well, any organization you ever have a challenge. Without a challenge, there will be no serious problems. Of course, yeah. of course. Like this, uh, our occupation. Sometimes, the person will say, uh, don't worry, I will come next tomorrow. Uh, we will be waiting. The clock will be ready. The clock and will the be person ready. will not come and pay. You will not see the person. Like some of the clothes here, you can see some of the clothes here, as you can see. Don't you have their numbers? I call their number. So then their number doesn't go again. <laughs> As you can see, all wow. these are the evidence. Wow. Yeah, that so is one of the, that the challenges we face. Okay, you will make clothes and customers yes. will not come for them. They will not come for their clothes yes. again. Okay. Make I didn't know about fashion designers. Are. And when they ask you to come next week, yeah. and you go there and they will tell you, ah, Sorry, I never ready no best. Come next tomorrow. Uh, next tomorrow. Like you but in your own case now, you meet up to time. Yeah, but the customer. <laughs> wow, this is funny. You see, this life is actually funny. Yeah. It's funny. Wow, what a challenge. So, what do you think could be the solution to this kind of challenge? Especially these ones that have lasted for so many years now. If we make a suggest, I'll suggest to. I want to suggest that uh, you should display them for sale. Okay. Abby? Yeah. 
That should be the solution. Oh, uh, what else do you think? Because your money is tied down. Money is tied you down. have invested, you have put in a lot to make this clothes ready. And it's been years now. Yeah. Maybe some of them don't die. The ones that picks your call, what are they saying? Yeah, don't worry. Tell her I'm coming, I'm coming. I'll be there very soon. Jesus, what a life. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, maybe I will teach you now. You have to threaten them. What you will do, you will display the clothes, put it on your dummy, snap it and say, Oga, madam, your clothes is for sale. My money there inside your clothes. I won't sell them so that I will collect my money. I will keep the remaining balance for you. And you will see that they will come. I think this is my own solution. Then for those ones that their number is no more available, my brother, sell the clothes before rats and all that is going to help you enjoy the clothes and your money go go. Wow, what, what a challenge. And what other challenge you face? Do you really have constant light here? Because I can see you have machines, you have weaving machines, you have other machines that uh, need light to operate. How is the power supply here? Not to have a... People don't have timetable like, you know that from so so, so time to so time they will be light and so time they will take it. How, how is it? Oh, we don't have timetable? No, we have timetable. Okay. As from 9 o'clock in the morning, okay. sometimes from 10 o'clock to 12. Okay. Sometimes from 10 to 1 o'clock, okay. they will take it to night again. Ah, which is what? Yeah, they, always, they always give us like under 3 hours. Okay, but you have other uh, means of yeah, uh, power supply. You have generators. Yeah, I have generators. Okay, so when you have serious, okay. 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 okay, so how oh. much? How how is your your fee? Your plot to to so plot in the cost. <laughs> Very important question, my people. I be the cost. I tell the fee. Just, you know. No, well, to so plot, you know the cost. Okay. Yeah, it depends the kind of styling you choose. Okay. Uh, that's what will determine the, the cost. price. Okay, whether you won't buy so many things, uh -huh. take it to sign the clothes, yeah. then it will determine the price. Mm -hmm. So I think in cases of emergency, in cases of trusting a, a customer, Zach is the right guy you can count on. So if you are in a Saba, he will tell us the full detail of his fashion home, the address, and also release his phone number so that we can reach out to him and try out if what the builders is saying is true. Or not. Now, those are not the lie. I'm talking about what they do. So, Oga, please release your address. How do they get here? Describe them where. Let's say they describe them to the key when on goes to. They have to describe and finish. You can release your phone number. Call the phone number. Make them see. Okay, my address is uh, Jared, number 69, Okay, where Shopping Center. Okay, Lure Shopping Center. Number 69. Okay, Lure Shopping Center. So, how would they call this? Okay? Is it in the street or is it along the road? Explain all that. We have uh, only one Jared in uh, cable, cable Point. When you enter Cable Point, you ask of Okay, Lure Shopping Center. Number 69. We are there. Okay. My number is zero seven zero eighty six eighty seven fifty four fifty four. I'll call it again. My number is zero seven zero eighty six eighty seven. 5454. 54. That is my number. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So for those who are not familiar with Jared, the easiest way to get Jared is once you are in town, anywhere you are coming from, whether you are coming from inside town or you're coming from outside town, immediately you get to College Junction, the road opposite College Junction, that is Jared. Just follow it straight down. This shopping plaza is just along the road. You could also call the number when you are stranded and he will be out for you. Sir, I am very pleased to be here and I'm so excited to have you. And more so, I am so thankful to you for these ones that you are training. Though we are going to hear from them very soon, it's not easy. Children, they have a spirit. They don't really stay with everybody. 
So for you to have this number of children, I know they are just few because the first day I came here, there were many. Many of them now don't go Christmas holiday. So these few here that are here, they are just a little evidence of the kind of people he trains. They are quite still small children. You know, some are, are, are in their early 15, 16, and some are below. So for you to be able to keep these children, groom them, train them, and they are still here. I saw them somewhere eating uh, a work coin. So when, it was like, this is a real fashion home. Because there are some fashion homes you go to. It's just called a fashion home. This is a home. When you come, you see people walking. After work, they have their recreation time. In fact, this is a place to be. I urge you to please visit here. Patronize them, and you will not regret it. Thank you so much, sir. I am very happy for you. And I wish you the best. I wish you success. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. Thank you. Wow. So, what is your name? Sorry? Jediah, how old are you? Twelve. Twelve years old. Do you go to school or this is all what you do? I go to school. You go to school. So after school you come here or you don't come until holiday time? Until holiday time. Okay, every holiday you come here. How long have you been learning this? Jesus. No wonder. Because I saw these guys making clothes. No, I, I, I'm not sure anybody here is learning it. Oh yeah, press my mail with you. Which one are you making? That this is native. Yeah, trouser. Trouser. Eh, this guy again. Oh, this is just trouser. Rope trouser. Rope trouser. Oh my god. Take take close shot on us in the press the machine. Oh my god. Thank you. This one looks like rope. Yes, I'm so rude. Where do you want to fix the rope? Trouser. The trouser. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's your name? My name is Mujai. Who? Mujai. 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 Mujai, how old are you? Yeah. Ah, and uh, this one too, and this one left. This is interesting. Mujai, you, you didn't go to school yeah. or you only learn, you, you are just learning how to sew? I don't go to school. You they go to school. You they come during school time. After school they learn on a only holiday. Sometimes I come to school. Wonderful. How long were you done the learn this thing? One year. One year. You don't savvy so. Yes. You they cut by yourself. Yes. Hey, father. Interesting. Well done, my dear. Well done. Okay. Wow. 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 Brass. So when I do finish, brother says, Brass, what the, which one are you sewing? I'm sewing shirts. Shirts? Yes. Which material is this? Brocade material. Okay, brocade material. Wow, wow, wow. What's your name? My name is Leonard. Leonard. Leonard, how old are you? I'm 13. This one with us. 12, 13, 11. We've also seen 8 years old yet. I'm not surprised because. I know that I don't see such kind of people here. How long have you been learning this? Three years. No wonder. So you can sew everything. Like everything. You mean like say that you are so they sew my clothes that day. Or can I give you my clothes? So. Hey, 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 well done. Congratulations. You go to school or this is what you learn. You can imagine. So education is very, very important. And also skill is important. Corona or not corona, you go there your ass and you make money. With your head and with your hand and with your leg. Congratulations. Thank you.
wow, 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 wow. I hope you're also saying what I'm saying. I hope you're expressing the surprise and excitement just like I'm doing right now. Yes, I know you are. Because nobody expects something good like that to come out of Jared. I want you to disregard the way that place is looking. Eh? And people go say, Happy Fedi Namoto, Banye Namoto. Yes, just disregard the place that is not Twitch, that is not this one. That is because of the kind of environment they are. Number one, for safety reasons. Uh, from my research, if you twitch up that place more than it is, you're going to draw attention, unnecessary attention. You know what I mean? If you actually know that place. So forget about the way that place is. Pay attention to the product. Pay attention to the final production. What comes out, the final result from that place. Did you see those mind-blowing things? Did you see the designers? Could you ever believe that such things come out from a place called Jaret in Asaba? Seriously, I'm not hearing your answers. <laughs> yes, things like that, even better, could come out. As we proceed, I'll continue to visit places like that and to tell you that things are happening there. So what do you have to do? What are the messages we got from that interview? Number one message is this, it doesn't matter where you are from, it doesn't matter your tribe, it doesn't matter your country, it doesn't matter anything, anything at all. Just like I said, your mind, when you set your mind to do something right, you will get it right. He set his mind, Mr. Zack set his mind to do something right. He learned that skill from Abuja, he came down here in Asaba to make sure that he ends means. He came down here to Asaba to make sure that that skill put food on his table. And he left every other place and he went to Jared. To you, the man no go fear afford rent for inside Asaba. Who says so? He has his target. And then, when you get to that place, he is the man of the town. When you mention his name, ah, I know that man, very loyal. Now, let me tell you how I got to know him. I was actually looking out for. A place where I could make an urgent cloth. I was not close to that Jared. Seriously, nothing could have taken me to that place. But I was fortunate to be in a commercial, in a commercial vehicle. And somebody somebody suggested, Ah, oh, madam, if you need to make a good cloth faster without disappointment, and from where till you they talk, it all late. I go direct it to one man. I was like, wow. I beg direct me, God bless you. See, it good. Maybe I say they talk out. Sometimes when you think you speak out, you can never tell who is next to you that could prefer a solution to your problems. And this man did not know any other place to refer me. The only place he could refer me was direct. Say, madam, I don't know that the man gave phone number, but I will discover for you. If you reach here, you enter to get here. You do this one. You do that. When you can't reach for the direct, ask them. You they look for Mr. Zach. For so 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 plaza. Hey. I saw a guy wait. Which one be Jared? No, be that Jared. Today for care. We say yes. Ah, this man, he did so well and he did keep to time. This is how we do the talk say, na emergency. And your people know they collect clothes. I make a say, make a suggest. If you go, you go thank me later. Ah, I said, Jesus. <laughs> of course, Esther likes uh, adventure. You know, number one. And I was desperate to make that clothes. I said, okay, no problem. After I'll not be serious, let me take it to him. And when I got there, I said, I'm making an inquiry. Please, I beg, who be Mr. Zach? I beg, where is this uh, plaza? And from the statement from people as they were directing me, I already knew where I was going to. I was already feeling at home. I was already feeling comfortable. And lo and behold, I got there and I saw what I saw. I gave him my clothes. He made it. On the same day, he told me to come. Same time, for crying out loud. I even forgot, or I thought it's not possible for him to have finished making them. He called me, hello, is this the madam that brought this one? Yeah, hey, madam, your cloth already, you feel come. Ah, I even told him, Jesus, make I send my staff to bring them to you. Ha, ah, Jesus, I said, which kind of thing with this one? So, Mr. Zach did not just stop at keeping his promises. He also showed me customer care customer relationship for crying out loud 
something that will make me to abandon all my international uh, designers and pay attention to him. Him where? Him at Jarrett. Oh my God. Mr. Zach. And apart from that lesson I learned, I also learned about his eagerness to put food on other people's table, other people's table. We saw children, children. We saw 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. And also, when I got there that first day, they were more than that. But because it was a celebration period, some of them traveled. So the few you saw there are just but few. That, that is not all. He has lots of children for crying out loud that he's training. And you saw the interview. Most of them are going to school. Yet they decided to learn that skill. I don't know. Did you just get anything from there? <laughs> so please, I know that you know that if these children grow up, they finish their education and they've graduated from this, their skill acquisition, you and them, you can't be the same. You, of course, will be paying attention to your one side income. You'll be paying attention to your English, you'll be paying attention to your salary. And these ones, they will get from the English, they will get from the salary, they will get from the skill. Like endless means of making money. Hey. And tell me, if we have them many like this, how can we be experiencing poverty in our country, Nigeria? What poverty? How? How now? How? Where the poverty won't for come? Because if they say there's no job, everywhere is overpopulated or no, no vacancy in offices, you will still survive with your skills. So tell me where that poverty won't come. Those things they say happen in that area. Does it look like these kids will actually have that time? They don't have the time because they will be in their place of learning skill from morning to night, every day of their life. When would they have time to go and be doing all those other social vices? Tell me. So if you are out there and you are still confused if you're out there and you have decided of course before we crossed over to the new year that this is what you're going to do but you're still sitting you have not taken steps please endeavor to start now and take steps time waits for nobody seriously time waits for nobody the more you delay the more these children becomes your boss how about that <laughs> but that is not a prayer in jesus name you will be your boss you'll be your own boss you will employ people to work for you Congratulations, Mr. Zach. Congratulations, Zach Fashion Home. And I urge you to please try out this testimony. Test and see if what I said is good. Like I usually tell you, I can never come out here to praise or advertise a product or a service that I have no clue about. I must, one way or the other, make sure that I see how it goes, how it works before coming here to sell it. It doesn't matter how much. So, I want you to please try, come and try and see if what this woman said is true or not. Try patronize Zach's fashion home, Jared Asaba, Delta State, proudly Jared. Oh, yes. Try it out and see if I'm saying the truth. And if I'm saying the truth, do not forget to call me and thank me. Just that I'm still looking for that man that gave me that direction. Oh my God, wherever you are, if you're watching this program, God bless you because I'm not regretting it. Seriously, I'm enjoying the I'm enjoying the services. Mm-hmm. Woo! I, I am so excited. I don't know if you're feeling it. Ah, I am. You know, nobody will know like the things. I like her well. well. <laughs> All right. Moving on now is our entertainment segment where you put smiles on your faces and you relax for the day. Please join me as we move on to the celebration segment. Friend, the majority of them, they're jealous. They 
not happy at all. Say I they marry at 57. The job is like, say, why not leave the man for them? Make them marry him. My name is Pastor Victoria Eloho Obiono. I remarried again after 15 years when my husband died. And I'll be 57 years old. See, make I not lie to you. Oyiboma say I, ha I have been deprived of love. Love where I suppose get from my small picking. I not get town. The former marriage now 14 years and five months. Now a day my mama they carry me give husband. I truly I tell you so life story. So I don't know anything about marriage before I even enter around. So that love where I not get is how I did small picking. Now God don't put for my hand now. Hmm. Of a true, eh? 14 years, now I might carry my late husband from one place to another. Staying 14 years where they take the worker or this worker before he die. And after that 14 years, I can't see stay 15 years again. 15 years again, now in my days since all this while. Lord, the way two people go carry, not only me, they carry and sins. You know, they is you, and they tell you the truth. I not remarry because of loneliness. Me, I just say, I say, now the will of God, and now God's divine arrangement for my life. You are going to kiss your wife. Listen now. I've not married before, but uh, this is my first time of marrying like this. I did happy so much. See, I did marry at this time. I thank God. The thing where they see for people own where I go, uh, really, is a big uh, experience I get today. And waiting I be the expert when I see for other people, oh now I see for my own today. So myself I happy so much. Before I tell my children, hmm, you know really the easy. I'll I, I be the think and say how I won't take table this matter, give my children. But find, somehow, somehow I summon courage. After I don't pray, I say, God, now you give me this and not plan for I my own JJ. Now you come show me. So as I go to, to tell my children, God, I beg, speak to my children before myself I go reach there. And that's why it happened. So they later accept with me. When my mama called me, say she won't marry. Mama, it was funny, funny, you know, be like, I felt love. Then we can't reason the matter, we can't see and say. The woman needs companion, she needs to be happy. Money is not the happiness here. Yeah. So I happy when we see my mama marry again because the smile, the blush, the way she feel. Younger people we won't marry. I just want to advise on and say, you get bad side, can't get good side. If person quick marry. If money day, you quick marry, go and join. If money knows they did suffer they too much, like me, I chop concrete, chop sand, chop concrete, join now. It's not easy. But I just want to encourage you say, wait for the will of God. Welcome back to your favorite show, The Boldest TV Show. Wow, this is where we say goodnight. It has been fun and interesting staying with you and i know you feel the same way with me and i urge you to always follow us on our social media platforms our facebook the boldest tv show our instagram the boldest tv show too and our youtube the boldest show follow us make sure you send your comments and also if you want to advertise your product your goods and services do not hesitate to dial my number 070655 0750 or 
080-354-8273 and make sure you do not hesitate to start advertising your goods and services on this show. Mm, this is where we sell it. We have testimonies and we continue to have. Call me for your advert placement, for your advert production, for anything you're doing out there and you want people to see, just dial my number. No excuses, sir. No excuses, man. I will be at your bed and call to make sure I serve you right. And until next Sunday, make sure you program your mind positively so you can achieve all the good things that God has already laid down. God is not creating a king. He has finished creating. He has made those things available for you. But make sure you set your mind and right to grab them and to activate it. I want to say have a very good night of rest, sweet dreams, and I love you. Ciao. Good night.